All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're doing a review on these sick looking bamboo handlebars on the fat bike. But before I get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon and exercise is checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you know me as awesome cycling content on this channel. So right onto the video, I installed these sick bamboo handlebars on the fat bike a couple months ago and I wanted to give them a long review and see how much of a difference they made to my riding and see how they stood up is honestly what I wanted to do. So let's talk about where these bamboo bars come from first of all. So the bamboo handlebars come from a company called Pashier. They are based in New Zealand. If you've never met anybody from New Zealand, they are amazing people and they're all fun and they're amazing. I like them. So I, was, so I had the opportunity to meet these guys at Sea Otter and kind of give them a try, see what they felt like on their bikes that they brought out with them, which was amazing. And then after Sea Otter, of course, they sent me an email said, hey, you want to try some of these bars? And I, of course, said, yeah, let me try these bars out. These seem like the coolest things I've ever seen. Let me try them out. I love bamboo bikes, bamboo everything. It's all kind of cool. So having the opportunity to try bamboo handlebars, that was something I couldn't pass up. So what's the deal with these handlebars? What are they? So let's go through some of the specs out of these. So these are the Pashier Gumps are what they are. So these are the widest handlebar they have currently. These are a 760 millimeter wide handlebar. So they're kind of the wider ones. They do offer some in a narrower width, I believe a 680. So they do offer some in different widths if you need those. Obviously, you can't cut these very well like you could just like an alloy or a carbon bar. So you kind of have to get the width you want to go with. Going So we're going with that. They have a 22 degree sweep coming back to you. They have a carbon fiber sleeve right where you put the clamp on. So, those are, so it makes it a 31.8 millimeter diameter. It makes it super strong right in the center. You don't have to worry about crushing the bamboo at all. Since I got the 760 millimeter, these ones are 300 grams made out of laminated bamboo and they're good and pretty much their fatigue and strength is set up for commute and trekking bikes. And that's what these are designed for. These are designed for people who are doing touring on their bike, just packing a whole bunch of stuff on there looking for optimal comfort. Commuters riding around town, made for those kind of people as well. And then of course people riding your e-bikes just around town, made for you guys as well. So you might think like me, so I'm a mountain biker. Second I saw these, I'm like, those are gonna get bashed when I go on the trail. These aren't designed for you mountain bikers. Sorry to say that, they are not designed for you but you're welcome to put them on another bike like I did. I stuck them on my fat bike versus one of my more dedicated mountain bikes. So I didn't notice this until I actually was reading through here. So they call them the Gump and they are named after Forrest Gump. I didn't know that. He was more of a runner than a rider. These bars are so comfortable you forget to stop riding and overshoot your destination. Pretty cool. I have ridden these, like I said, for the past couple months and I can definitely guarantee you that these are one of the most comfortable bars I've ridden and there's reasons for that. So let me bring it a little closer, let's take a look at the bars and I'll kind of show you some of the features of these bars and what makes them so special and such a cool bar to have on your bike. All right, so biggest point with these bamboo bars is that they flex. And so if I put my weight down, you can see that bar is flexing. You can actually see that on camera. I wasn't sure if you will see that, but that bar flexes. And that is the big deal with these bars. So with these bars flexing the way they do, it absorbs a lot of the road vibrations and dampens a lot of that. It makes your hands feel a lot better. If you've ever ridden a bike for a long period of time or even a short period of time, you know you get some tingling, numb sensations kind of right around this area of your hand. And that's what this is designed to help with and solve that problem and make that feel a whole lot better. So with the sweep coming back, it positions your hands in different spots. So you're actually putting more pressure kind of towards the front of your hand versus on the side like you would on a flat bar mountain bike or something that does not have this sweep to it. So you put your pressure more on the more on the front of your hands. And then with the flex that's in these bars, it absorbs everything. Now I have these on a fat bike and these bars replace the steel set of handlebars. So I already had a pretty, pretty solid dampening system that already kind of in place with the big fat tires, low pressures, steel frames, steel bars. And putting these bars on instead of those steel bars has been night and day. It makes a huge difference. Steel is known to be a very good vibration dampener, but bamboo handlebars, they're the way of the future. I don't know. They might be the way of the past. I don't know what that might be, but these are the way you ever, these are the way if you're looking for extra comfort on your bike, these are a nice way to go. So from here, you can actually see that carbon fiber sleeve kind of tucked right in here. That adds protection, strength to the bars around this clamping area. You want to make sure you tighten these down to the torque specifications because you can't crack these. Obviously it's bamboo. Bamboo is strong, 
but if you crack it, it's done. It's just like carbon fiber. So you need to make sure you torque this down and recheck that every once in a while. Also, I think they say after your first ride, recheck them. I recheck them every once in a while to make sure they are tight because you don't want this coming loose. Obviously, you don't want your bars coming loose. Bamboo is soft, so you want to make sure they stay nice and tight on here. Now, my setup here, obviously fat bike. I don't have any brakes, don't have any shifters, none of that. Normally, you'd be able to put those here. Of course, when you have bamboo handlebars like this, you don't want to scratch up the bamboo on your handlebars, right? So what they do is they include a little sheet here, and this sheet has stickers, clear stickers on it. What those are made to do is stick onto the handlebar, so you can clamp your brake lever there, and it won't scratch up your nice handlebar. It'll keep it there, keep it nice and secure. These have a little bit of texture to them, so it kind of gives it somewhere to grab onto other than the bar. So if you do have brake levers or shifters, they keep they got you covered. They're gonna keep your bamboo bars looking nice, and they want them to look nice for you. So with these being a 31.8 bar, it does limit you to what you can run for a stem, of course. You need to have a 31.8 compatible stem. So if you had a bike like mine here that had a 25.4 clamp, and a, thread, and a threaded headset. I kind of had to do a conversion here and I have a whole video about that if you want to see the video on how I converted my threaded headset into a threadless so that I can use a standard threadless stem on here and get that 31.8. It also eliminates that 35 millimeter. I know that's something that's very popular in the mountain biking world, but again, not designed for mountain biking. So you don't have to worry about that, but you do have to kind of stick with that 31.8. I haven't had a problem with that. I like the feel of these. With a 35 millimeter, you generally get a thicker bar, which means you get less flex. So the 31.8 on this gives you the perfect amount of flex to make your ride super, super comfortable. And I love these things. These things are amazing. Not only do they look super cool on this bike, but they feel amazing as a well. So let's get down to this. They're a really cool bar, but who are these bars made for? Obviously they're not made for mountain bikers. They're not designed to be ripped off trails, down jumps, down any kind of stuff like that. They're not made for that. So these bars are mainly gonna be towards your touring cyclists and your commuter cyclists. They're really who these bars are mainly targeted at. And those are gonna be your commuters and your touring cyclists that want a flat handlebar, but want as much comfort as they can possibly get. So obviously you have steel, aluminum, carbon fiber, and then this fancy bamboo. So what makes the bamboo better than the rest? And that's really gonna be that vibration dampening in this. Nothing else I've ridden has felt like these bamboo bars because of that flex in there that you can feel and you notice immediately when the first time you go off of a curb or you go over a bump, you feel those bars and you feel them flex. And it is, it's something you have to get used to, but it, it feels unlike any other handlebar you've ever ridden before. So if you like going bike packing and touring on your bike and you like the flat style handlebar and you're looking for something super comfortable that lets you keep on going, keep riding longer than a standard flat bar can, these bamboo bars are going to be for you. If you're a commuter and you like to ride a whole bunch of miles on the street, you have a long commute, your hands start killing you after a ride, these bars are for you. So check these guys out. I'm gonna have a link in my description down below. They're super cool, super nice. Feel free and email them, talk to them about it. See if these are the correct option for you. Like I said, these are the Gumps. They have a couple other versions of the bar. They have a narrower version of the Gump and then they have pretty much a straight, smaller flat bar as well. For the people that are commuting that want a narrower bar so they can get through city streets, cars, whatever, more effectively, they make that stuff all for you. They also make this bar in a black as well. I don't know why you'd want black. Bamboo is what's up, but you can get it in a black if you want that black as well. So again, I'm gonna have a link in the description down below. Check them out, give them some love. They have amazing products and these bamboo bars will change your riding experience on your bike. So. Big thanks to Pashir for sending me out these handlebars so I can try them out, review them, let you guys know what I think about these. These are definitely something out of the box, something most people have never seen and never heard of before, and it can make a big difference to your riding style and your riding enjoyment. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love chatting with you guys. Love answering questions you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.